All right, so let's um, go ahead and develop our training method. All right, so uh, this is going to be a public double. Let's call it train. Uh, by reference, we're going to need some input, so a double array of input. By reference, we're going to need to pass in a double array, uh, what do we call it, desired. Um, let's have them pass in a training rate. Right? This is just going to be a scalar, a double. And let's also have them pass in a double called momentum. Okay. Um, the input is going to be the input to the network. The desired output is going to be the output uh, that we'd like for the network to produce that we're actually going to train on. Uh, the double training rate is going to be a small number, um, a small positive constant maybe, you know, between 0 and 1. Um, and the coefficient momentum is going to be another small number, hopefully, you know, maybe between 0 and 1. Um, okay, so let's do some real quick parameter validation. Let's check that the input uh, array has the same length as the input size of our network. Uh, whoops. So if that's not equal, then we're going to throw new argument exception invalid input parameter. And the variable is input. <coughs> if desired dot length is not equal to layer size of layer count minus one. Oops, desired dot length. Then that's a problem too. So we'll throw a new argument exception, invalid input parameter, and this is desired. All right. What is the problem? Oops. String. All right. So at least the input has the correct size and the output has the correct size. Um, so that should hopefully work. Uh, let's define some local variables. We're going to need a double called error equal to 0, 0.0. Uh, we're going to need a sum. We'll go ahead and set it to 0. We're going to need a weight delta equal to zero, and a bias delta equal to zero, okay? Um, we're also going to need a double array called output, um, and this is going to be the size of the output layer, as you probably expect. So double of layer size of layer count minus one. Oh, that got weird. Um, and that is that. So, <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is run the network. So what we need to do um, is run the current input and stuff it into our output, out output, like that. Okay. Oh, what's the problem here? Oh. I gotta pass this by reference explicitly. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna run the network forward based on this out input, get the output. We're gonna compare that to the desired output, which the user passes in, um, and we're gonna propagate the error backwards. So what we need to do is back propagate. Okay, so we're gonna do another for loop uh, through all the layers, int l equals. Now in this case, um, I'm actually propagating the error backwards. Uh, if you recall, what happens with the algorithm is we start at the output layer, compute the deltas between actual output and training, um, and then by the chain rule, we propagate that all the way forwards. So I'm actually going to start at the end, so from l equals layer count minus 1, right? the last index, while l is greater than or equal to 0, L minus minus. All right. 
So this is going to scan through every layer starting at the output layer, moving all the way forward to the first hidden layer, which is L equals zero. Now, this is again, it's similar to the input, right? I have two distinct cases, because really what I'm trying to do, if you remember the algorithm uh, derivation tutorial, is I'm trying to compute those deltas, those little lowercase deltas. Um, if I'm looking at the output layer, I need to compare the output from the network to the training data, like I said. Um, otherwise, I need to base the delta for the current layer on the deltas downstream. Okay, so this is going to be broken down into two cases, just like it was in the algorithm video. So let's say it's an output layer. If L equals layer count minus one, then we're going to do something. And that something is actually, let me go ahead and finish this off. Else, um, then if we're not in the output layer, we must be in the hidden layer. In these cases, we're also going to do something. OK. So if we're looking at an output layer, let's go for int k equals 0. k is less than layer size of this layer. Um, which I guess I could just say layer count minus one, but whatever. Um, K plus plus. And sorry, oops, that's a semicolon. I'm using uh, K here just because in the algorithm tutorial, I referred to the layers as I, J, and K. So since I'm specifically in the output layer, let's let little K be a node in the output layer. Um, and we're going to work with that. So delta for this layer for the kth node, so delta LK, is going to be the difference between the output of the kth node and the desired value for the kth node, right? This is just, I'm following the algorithm exactly. Now what we want to do is minimize this quantity squared um, and so I'm going to go ahead and save off into this error variable, which I already set to zero. Error plus equals math.pow. So that's raising the power, whatever x is, the first argument, to whatever y is, the second argument. And so I'm going to raise this delta lk to the second power. Okay. So that's just this output minus desired quantity squared. Now error set to zero, this is going to happen for each node in the output layer only. So if it's an output layer, as I go through every node in the output layer, I'm going to compute the sum of the squares of the difference between output and desired, which is the error function that we described. Okay. Um, then from here, I can compute delta. So delta LK, right, for the output layer times equals and it times equals what? Well, in the development of the algorithm, the next uh, expression here was sigma times one minus sigma. But as I emphasized in the video, that's really just the derivative of the transfer function. Okay. Now, since I'm going to have different transfer functions in the future, let's go ahead and just evaluate the derivative um, instead of explicitly writing sigma times one minus sigma. Uh, because that's really just a special case where our transfer function is a sigmoid. So what I'd like to do is look at transfer functions, the class dot evaluate the derivative of, well, it depends on the transfer function, right? So we're going to input transfer function of L, which is the transfer function for this layer. And we're going to evaluate this at um, the input to this layer. So layer input of LK. Okay. Now this, from the previous video where we developed the run method, is why we saved the layer input, right? Because really, when I'm computing these deltas, I need to multiply by the derivative of the function evaluated at the input. And this input to layer L's kth node is going to be right the product of the output of all of the nodes in the previous layer times the weight that connects them uh, plus the bias. Okay, so this is why we save layer input. 
Okay, so that's that. So that gives us our delta LK um, in the case where we're looking at an output layer. Okay, so for hidden layers, we're going to go through all of the nodes in the current layer, L. We're going to multiply the weights that connect them to every node in the following layer um, by the deltas for that node for that layer and add them all up, propagate that backwards. We're going to multiply that by the derivative of um, the transfer function for the current layer to get our deltas. Okay, So this is again just following the algorithm that we derived in, in one of the very early videos. So for int i equals 0, i is less than layer size of l, i plus plus. I'm going to do the following. So I'm going to set sum equal to 0. This is our accumulator. Um, and I'm going to scan through all of, I keep using the word scan. Uh, we're going to make a for loop that goes through all of the nodes in the following layer. So for int j equals 0, j is less than layer size of l plus 1, right, the following layer, j plus plus. Um, I'm going to say sum plus equals, maybe. So sum plus equals the weight. Now which weight is the correct one, right? The weights are attached to the layer that they precede. So what I want is to look at the weight for layer L plus one, that's the next layer, from node I in its previous layer, which is our current layer, um, node J. I'm gonna multiply that by delta for that layer's Jth node. Okay, and I'm going to add those all up and accumulate that in our sum variable. Once that's done, um, the sum is going to get multiplied by sum times equals the derivative, right? Which is going to be transfer functions dot evaluate derivative of of uh, transfer sorry, lowercase transfer function, that's our transfer function array uh, for this layer, L, evaluated at um, the input. So layer input of L, I. Okay, so that is that. So now this expression here is the product of the derivative of the transfer function of this layer, right? So for this node, times the sum of the product of all of the weights with the deltas from the nodes on the next layer, right? So I'm taking all of the ones on the following layer, taking their product, adding them up, multiplying that by the derivative of the current layer's transfer function, and that is exactly the delta for a hidden layer, right? So delta of Li, in this case, is going to equal sum. All right. Um, so this video is running up a little long, so I'm going to break this into an, a second part, and we will adjust the weights in the following video.